Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park, Toledo, located at 31 Audemars Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2018 Toyota Camry XSE. Now the most notable features on this XSE is its parking sensors. You also have your panoramic roof along with your heated front seats. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2018 Toyota Camry XSE. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this XSE is its daytime running lights. You also have, if you take a closer look at the front bumper, your parking sensors along with your front facing camera for the 360 degree backup camera. 19 inch aluminum alloy wheels, down facing camera on both sets of mirrors for the 360 degree backup camera, integrated signal lamps, foldable mirrors, heated mirrors, and then you'll also see the blind spot warning indicator. Now with that indicator it'll actually light up just learning if there is another vehicle right beside you. Smart key system with it, so with the smart key system you can lock all the doors simultaneously just by pushing on the two lines you see there on the handle. Push on once, it'll lock all the doors automatically, and then if you put your hand between the handle, it'll unlock the front door for you as well. Now if you hold it there a little bit longer, it'll actually open up all the doors for you as well. And the color we're going to be taking a look at today is silver. Now taking a closer look just at the front dash as well as the front seats, you have your red interior. And if you take a look on the left hand side here, you're going to see your automatic high beams with your traction control on and off you for the 360 degree backup camera. Trunk release, gas cap release. You have your mirror controls, window locks, power locks, and window controls. Now, a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your paddle shifters. You also have your scroll function for the multi-informational display. Volume control, voice recognition, Bluetooth connectivity. You also have the lane departure alert, cruise control, mode select, and seek function. It does come with the push button start, so all you have to do is push foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. But taking a look at the multi-informational display, you'll see a couple of different features on here. So if we actually scroll through, you have an exterior temperature gauge with a couple of other additional features inside here as well. Now, if we take a closer look on here, we'll be able to see a couple of different features, just so I can start this up for you. So it'll just go through the startup menu here again. So as you can see, you have your fuel economy on here. You also have a digital speedometer. And then scrolling through some more, you'll be able to see your driving support, Bluetooth connectivity, tire pressure monitoring, which offers you the system status as well. Settings menu with the lane departure alert, pre-collision system, blind spot monitoring on and off, rear cross traffic alert, and a couple of other additional features which include your parking sensors, and you have an exterior temperature gauge, and you have the message menu at the very end there. Now, if we take a closer look just at the center dash area, just while we're uh, taking a look here, you do have your hazard lights, JBL sound system, and then if you take a closer look inside the menu controls, um, if we take a closer look, you have your audio phone connectivity apps, as well as a couple of other additional features, which include your satellite radio, USB and auxiliary input with the power outlet, wireless charging pad, and then if you take a look underneath, you're going to find some storage space, mounted to an automatic transmission, eco, normal, and sport mode, with your heated seat controls for your driver and your passenger. If you take a closer look up top, you have your auto dimming rear view mirror with the integrated garage door opener and digital compass. And then you have the open and closed and tilt up and down feature for the power moonroof, SOS safety connect. And then if you take a closer look just at the backup camera, as you can see, you have those nice guiding lines in there making things much easier for you. When you back into a stall, you can also change up the backup camera view to a more dynamic view or the traditional backup camera view you're used to. Now when you have the vehicle in drive and you hit that view button right beside your trunk release, it'll show you a nice front end view of the vehicle which makes things a little bit easier for you especially when you're in underground parking. Put it on the auto feature and it'll actually stay on that screen anything under 10 kilometers an hour and once you go past that point it'll go back to the previous screen you were on. Now when you hit the view button when you're in park it's just going to ask you to turn on the parking sensors. That way you're able to actually use the 360 degree backup camera. 
So just start this up again, just so that I can actually show you what the 360 camera looks like. So just hit that view button again here. As you can see, you have that aerial view and a more up close 360 degree view, which makes things a little bit easier for you when you're um, parked in your driveway. That way you can see if there's any obstructions in your way. Push on the view button once more and it will go back to the previous screen you were on. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate now located on your rear bumper. You're gonna see your parking sensors just located right across. On the back of the tailgate, you'll find your backup camera just underneath your Camry emblem. And then your rear hatch release will be located just over on your right-hand side. Now, if you take a closer look, it does have the keyless entry system as well as the automatic trunk release. So as you can see, all you have to do is hold down the trunk release for approximately two seconds and it will open up for you. You have a 60-40 split for the rear seat, so if you need the additional space, all you have to do is pull on one of the two tabs that you see up top. It comes with the cargo net, and then if we take a look underneath the floor, you'll find the uh, spare tire as well as the jack and toolkit. The spare tire will be located just one more under. So if you do find yourself in a bit of a pinch, you know exactly where it's located. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Phone number is 780-410-2455. Or please visit our website at sbtoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.